prophecies regarding the last days often refer to large-scale calamities such as earthquakes or famines or floods. These in turn may be linked to widespread economic or political upheavals of one kind or another. But there is one kind of Latter-day destruction that has always sounded to me more personal than public, more individual than collective, a warning perhaps more applicable inside the church than outside it. The Savior warned in the last days even those of the covenant, the very elect, could be deceived by the enemy of truth. If we think of this as a form of spiritual destruction, it may cast light on another Latter-day prophecy. Think of the heart as the figurative center of our faith, the poetic location of our loyalties and our values, and then consider Jesus' declaration that in the last days men's hearts shall fail them. The encouraging thing, of course, is that our Father in heaven knows all of these latter-day dangers, these troubles of the heart and the soul, and has given counsel and protections regarding them. Love, healing, help, hope the power of Christ to counter all troubles in all times, including the end of times. That is the safe harbor God wants for us in personal or public days of despair. That is the message with which the Book of Mormon begins, and that is the message with which it ends, calling all to come unto Christ and be perfected in Him. I testify that one cannot come to full faith in this latter-day work and thereby find the fullest measure of peace and comfort in these our times until he or she embraces the divinity of the Book of Mormon and the Lord Jesus Christ of whom it testifies. My witness echoes that of Nephi, who wrote part of the book in his last days, and I quote, Hearken unto these words, and believe in Christ. And if ye believe not in these words, believe in Christ. And if you shall believe in Christ, you shall believe these words, for they are the words of Christ. And they teach all men that they should do good. If they're not the words of Christ, judge ye, for Christ will show you with power and great glory, that they are His words at the last day. Brothers and sisters, God always provides safety for the soul, and with the Book of Mormon He has again done that in our time. Remember this declaration by Jesus Himself, Whoso treasureth up My word shall not be deceived, and in the last days Neither your heart nor your faith will fail you. Of this I earnestly testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.